was that noise? Mommy! What is it, sweetie? I said, what was that noise? Nothing, sweetie. I just ran over a big frog. No, you didn't, Mommy. Frogs don't sound like that. Mommy, I'm bored. I want to open my eyes. Please, just be a good girl and keep your eyes closed like I told you. Okay, sweetie? Buddy, you mentioned something about research for a story. That's right. Got a tip that something big's happening. In a nowhere little town like that? They sure didn't mention anything about it on TV. Yeah, well, I'm freelance, pal. I don't make my living waiting for the TV to tell me what to cover. <laughs>
Here she is. <laughs> Willamette, Colorado. Population 53,594. Distinguishing characteristics, jack shit. <laughs> About the only thing to do in this town is kill time at the shopping mall. What was that? The army? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like taking a helicopter was the way to go. I bet they got all the roads blocked off by now. All right, listen. I want to get shots of the whole town before the National Guard finishes roping it off. Take me over the main street. business as usual in this town. See the center of town. Take me there. Roger. Hey, can you get me on the rooftop of that mall? You gotta be kidding me! Man, you are nuts. Alright, listen! Don't forget to come back for me! As long as you're not dead, Fred. It's Frank. Frank West. Remember that name, because the whole world's gonna know it in three days, when I get the scoop. Top. I know I'm gonna get my butt chewed out for this one. We're going down. Hello there. Huh? 
You're the reporter, aren't you? Yeah. Uh... You... came alone? Yeah, I'm freelance. You know, go on the battlefield alone, no crew. So, uh, what's going on around here anyway? You came by helicopter, didn't you? What did you see from the sky? Well... If it were just a riot, I doubt the military would quarantine the entire area. The moratorium on information getting out is a little... extreme, in my opinion. There's, uh, something else I can't put my finger on. Doesn't sound like civil disobedience. It's too quiet. <laughs> Almost as if... everyone's already dead. Yeah. So why don't you just tell me already? What's going on? I think you'd better see for yourself. This, my friend, is hell. What in the world? Hey, bring that over here! No time to ogle pretty girls, son. You looking to get yourself eaten alive by zombies? What? Did you just say zombies? Take a look out there. If those ain't zombies, what would you call them? There's been more and more of them since last night. Now... They're all that's out there. Eh, look on the bright side. Zombies are stupid and slow. We should be safe in here. All right, then. Feel like making yourself useful? Take a look around the mall. Bring anything we can use for the barricade back here. On delay! Come on, pronto! idea what you've oh. done! Why did you summon me to this place? What are you planning? Would you calm down? I don't even know what you're talking about! What the...
What in the hell are you people doing? Run! Quick, move! Get over here! Everyone, move this way! Quick, to the stairs! Move! the others I don't know I hope they got away <sighs> no. as long as those things are in the mall we better not use this door Uh, what are you doing? The air ducts. They'll get us back into the mall. And apparently those things aren't smart enough to use the ducts. So they won't be a factor. Wait a minute. You want to get back in there? What for? <clears throat> hey. Hey. <laughs> Nice camera. Are you a photographer? As a matter of fact, I am. Frank West, photojournalist. Could you show me some pictures, Frank? <sighs> you really seem to know what you're doing. Who are you guys, anyway? And what are you... I took that one near the entrance. That guy do something? No. Nope. Thanks for showing me, though. Uh, hey, we're not done talking yet. Just who are you guys? I'm Jesse. The man you saw earlier is Brad. That's all I'm authorized to tell you. Zombies, huh? Had a feeling you'd show up. Ah! Oh! God, it's you. Look, don't sneak up on me. <sighs> Brad was attacked. I located him on the monitor. Oh! It's probably just a sprain. I've got to help Brad, or he's done for. All right, fine. Give me your gun. Come on. I'm the reason you just got hurt. Let me help. No, I can't let a civilian do that. That's against regulations. Yeah, well, I don't think they had zombie-infested malls in mind when they wrote those regulations, kid. You know how to use this? Kinda. I've covered wars, you know. Look, after I'm through helping you, you and I are gonna have a nice little chat. Your, uh, girlfriend 
sent me to find you. Who? Jesse? Damn it! Okay, we'll have to talk about this later. You know how to use that gun? I've never fired at a person. All right, I'll cover you from here. You need to stick to the shadows. Try to get close to the target, okay? And what am I supposed to do when I get close? Well, the best solution would be to shoot the guy. But if you can't do that, keep him busy dodging your bullets and stay out of trouble. Are you up to it? I'm a lot better with a camera. But yeah, I'll give it a shot. All right. Next time he reloads, I'll lay down a suppressing fire. I'm counting on you. Make your way over there. One, two, three! Got away. Who was that anyway? I don't know. Well, thanks for your help. The name's Brad. I'm Frank West, photojournalist. And right now, I'd rather have an explanation than your thanks, Brad. Sorry, I've got nothing to tell you. Look, I don't know what Jesse told you, but as far as I'm concerned, we're through working together. So you cover your zombie story and leave the rest to us. You, uh, you guys are looking for someone here, aren't you? Who is that? Where did you, you take You help it? me, I help you. Damn. You're one hell of a journalist, aren't you, Frank? A hot-headed underhanded hotshot paparazzi with nothing better to do than to invade people's privacy. I try. You got a point? You win, Frank. Let's work together. Jesse and I are DHS agents. And yes, we are looking for the man in that picture. You're with Homeland Security. Is that guy a terrorist or something? I took that picture in the entrance plaza. Right near the front door. The entrance plaza. You're sure? Hey! So do I have your permission to cover this story? Or not. Ugh. Sir, if you could just kindly come with us, we can wrap this whole thing up. No, I'm not leaving until you can Absolutely, guarantee sir. me if safe passage just open to this these... gate. Just open this gate no. for your protection. Just I am not us. opening any gate. Thank you very much. I'm going to stay right Do here. Dr. Where Barnaby. Safe. Sir. Thank you and goodbye. Dr. Dr. Barnaby. Goodbye. Well,
Well, what happened? You can't just arrest him? He turned down my offer to protect him. Said he isn't going anywhere until I can guarantee a secure route out of here. Jesse has a direct line to HQ. The first thing we need to do is to call for backup. So that's what Dr. Barnaby said, huh? The old coot's not dumb. He wants us to call for help first. We gotta line out or what? <sighs> the signal's being blocked. I can't even contact HQ on the emergency line. So, if we want to get our hands on Dr. Barnaby, we're gonna have to secure a way out of here ourselves. All right. We've got to deal with the situation we've been handed. The Boneheads back at HQ might be working on something, too. There's a helicopter coming. Three days from now. At noon. It's my ride. Is your ride reliable? Absolutely. That's how I plan on getting out of here. All right, then. I'll see to it that the DHS picks up the charter fee. Can we take Dr. Barnaby as well? Sure. As long as you tell me what's going on. Okay. I'll tell you what you want to know. Later. We have more pressing business right now. If we have to wait here for three days, we'll need supplies. Uh, water, blankets and the like. We'll get Dr. Barnaby here tomorrow morning. I want you to keep an eye on the monitors. Ha <laughs> ha 
Yes, lose up. <laughs> Get your aim right, brother. Yeah. <laughs> All right, looks like he found our next contestant. We're going to take out that dude and snatch his old lady. <laughs> Yo, Frank! Give me a hand here. Hey. What... What gives? Considering the helicopter and all, we have to work together. But that doesn't mean we can tell you everything. And everything we do tell you can't necessarily be printed. Yeah, so? So, I just want you to appreciate the situation. Well, we're up to our necks in zombies. Yeah, I think I appreciate the situation just fine. Zombies. I still can't believe all this, you know? Seems so unreal. You all right there? Yeah, I got it. <clears throat> you should rest a while, Brad. You go ahead and catch some sleep first. We can switch in four hours, okay? Anyway, before this whole thing started, someone called the professor and told him to come to this mall. Jack the line, did you? So was this the caller, this guy here? They've got something to do with the zombies, don't they? They're the reason we came here. And if he gets away with Dr. Barnaby, none of our questions will be answered. Zombie child. I'm going for it. You just worry about staying alive. Got it?
I'll be fine. Just take care of the professor. Go. Okay. He's unconscious, but alive. Ah, damn! Are you all right? Yeah, but I'm not in any condition to carry him. Can you get him back to the security room? Sedatives taken effect. The professor won't be waking up anytime soon. I managed to stop the bleeding, but he's running a fever. He needs medicine. A fever? Medicine, huh? to vandalize my store, huh? Not on my watch! Someone's been hurt. I need medicine. Hurt? That's just what this bitch said when she came to vandalize my store. I don't take kindly to vandalism. I won't allow it. Listen to me, and listen good, partner. I don't allow vandalism in my
customers. Have a nice day. Clean up! Register six! Ugh. Back in the land of the living, you're one tough cookie. Can you stand? Look, I, uh, I saw you at the entrance, yesterday. You needed medicine too. Maybe we should work together. I don't need any help. You people don't know a thing. You're the ones who caused this nightmare. You ruined Santa Cabeza and started all this. He's stabilized. He should be fine for now. Are you all right? You have blood on you. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Must be from that girl I saved. Girl? Was she hurt? I offered to help her, but she took off. Can't really blame her for running from a guy with your looks. Anyway, she was saying something about Santa Cabeza. Santa Cabeza? I think I... <laughs> Dr. Barnaby, you're awake. Santa Cabeza. I should have known. I thought Santa Cabeza was over and done with. You plan to dispense justice now? Calm down, Dr. Barnaby. We're only following orders. We have to protect, protect? you- Protect? More like imprison! Professor, if we're going to protect you, we need to know the truth. All of it. Please. Talk to us. I take it you know what Santa Cabeza is. Am I right? <gasps> Fine. I'll just get my information somewhere else. Thank you very much. Maybe if I can track down that woman again. Hey. Now, what do you know about all this, anyway? Are you a reporter? 
Let go. I won't run, so let go. You're hurting me. How much do you already know? Have you called for help? Hold your horses, babe. I'm the one asking the questions here. What is Santa Cabeza, and how is it connected to all this? The zombies were created by you, not us. That's what Carlito wants you all to know. Who? If you want to interview someone, talk to Carlito. He has all the answers. You're talking about that guy that took pot shots at us with a sniper rifle, aren't you? Take me to him. No. Not now. He's injured. And in no mood to talk to anyone. I'll bring him to you once he's recovered. I can persuade him. I'm his little sister, after all. Why should I trust you to bring him to me? The zombies are a message from Carlito. He wanted people to know. Fine. Go. When will you be back? Tonight at midnight. Wait for us in the store next to the camera shop in the North Plaza. I'm Isabella, by the way. And I promise, I'll come back. <sighs> oh. What have we here? Oh. <sighs> Looks like you lured another man in here, you little whore. No, I didn't. Uh, please. Help me! Let's see just how shameless you are, you dirty little skank! Say hello to my little friend! Uh, no, not again! Help me! Um, officer. Officer, can I talk to you for a minute? I mean, uh, look, what did that woman do? This seems a little, like. Uh, Stretch your pile! If you try to interfere with official police business, start with you before I get to her! Anything new on this end? 
Santa Cabeza is a stronghold of the Central American drug trade. The professor here seems to think that the zombies are a byproduct of these drugs. So you're telling me what? That somebody spread a bunch of zombie drugs around Willamette? For what? What would making the dead come to life accomplish? They're terrorists. Don't try to explain their actions with logic. I've analyzed the drug in question, and I've reported my findings to the government. <coughs> that must be what set them off. <coughs> they, they didn't want to be <coughs> exposed. <coughs> I've... I've told you everything I know! Now get me out of here! <coughs> Call for help and kill those creeps! <coughs> Looks like 72 yards. I can blow his head off clean from here. Can I take a shot, Dad? Getting a headshot from here's no big deal, Jack. Think you can pull it off, Thomas? But Daddy, he ain't no zombie. He's just a man. Thomas! We're doing this to survive. You know that. Using a firearm for self-defense is our God-given right as Americans, Thomas. Come on, Thomas, shoot. Shoot him. Shoot him, Thomas! I said shoot him. Shoot, Thomas. Now! What are you waiting for? Do it! Carlito. I tried to talk him into coming, but it was no good. He, he doesn't trust anyone. He shot you? He didn't mean to. He was upset. I don't know what he'll do next. Hey. Hey.
Who is that? Is she hurt? Yeah. You're looking at the bad guy's sister. Bad guy? The one who caused all this? That's right. Her asshole brother caused the zombie outbreak. His sister? What in the hell is going on here? I mean, does this have anything to do with that announcement earlier? I don't know much more than you at this point, okay? But he shot her, I can tell you that. And just so you know, that would be the same guy that shot you. What's he after? What's his ultimate goal? I don't know. But according to her, his plan isn't over. Not yet. Fine. Consider her in DHS custody. We'll question her when she wakes up. <sighs> what is your name? Isabella. Isabella Keys. Well, Isabella, this is an emergency. So we'll skip the formalities and cut to the chase. Consider this an official interrogation. Tell me everything that you know. Fine. I'll explain why all of this is your fault. There was no drug trade in Santa Cabeza. Just an American research facility. They were doing research on some sort of parasitic insect. Like a wasp. A wasp that turns living things into zombies. If you don't believe me, just ask the man who was in charge of that research. The head of the Santa Cabeza Livestock Research Facility, Dr. Barnaby! Huh? Huh? Jesse! It's starting! It's starting! Truth, Doc. Were you conducting experiments with zombies? So the government's now in the zombie-making business. The whole story about the drug trade was a cover-up? What do you know? We were trying to mass produce cattle. 
Do you have any idea how much meat Americans consume in a single day? <coughs> that research was absolutely necessary! I haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> One day, in my village, the people turned into zombies. Those damn wasps. They escaped from the lab. It wasn't long before they got to work. Some spread. The army was called in. They killed everyone. So, the terrorism is a retaliation for a cruel government cover-up. Sounds plausible. Or it could be some serious bullshit. In either case, we have to get out of here alive if we want to find out for sure. We have to check if she's been bitten. Let me take a look. I'm a medical technician. I could be useful if you let me do my job. I know I have no right to ask, but please, let me help. If you don't get out of here, the truth dies with you. <clears throat> All right. If allowing you to atone for you and your brother's scheme makes things go more smoothly for us, I'm all for it. Behold! The end of the world is upon us. Death itself has overflowed upon the world, defiling us all. The salvation of the soul is the purging of the tainted blood!
unbeliever in our midst. If we are to achieve salvation, his blood must flow! He must be purged! Spill his blood. The blood of the heretic! blood to the foul earth that has spawned you. Exactly what is this last resort talk all about? 
Carlito said that he'd blow up the mall if he were cornered. <laughs> Damn! We've got a regular uh, suicide bomber on our hands. It's them what you're thinking. The explosion would send parasitic larvae into the atmosphere. He plans to spread zombies outside of the city? Is he insane? If that bomb goes off, there'll be nowhere to run. The zombies will be everywhere! <sighs> He's planning to flood the area underneath the mall with flammable gas, then set it off! If you could take care of the bombs while the gas concentration is still low... There's a chance we could stop the explosion. Let's do it. rid of your bombs. This is as far as you go today. Just give up and surrender.
Well, shit. Frank, sounds like you took care of the bombs. How's Brad? The bomb's over and done with. Brad went after Carlito. Copy. Report back here, Frank. Yeah. As soon as Brad gets his hands on that terrorist, I guess it'll be case closed, huh? No. Uh, you know of anything else he could be planning? No. Nothing but the bombs. He's got his computer hidden away. I'm sure there's plenty of information on it. Can you take me there? To his hideout? Leave it to me. Here it is. Let's go. No good. It's password protected. I'll try words we both might know. Family stuff. Things like that. What's this cable? It looks like part of a jamming device. I won't be able to disable it unless I log in. Head it back now. Take a look at this. The guy being dragged? I think it's Carlito. You could be right. Where is this? The basement of the North Plaza. Right in front of the butcher shop. I mean, uh, that meat? Um... Oh, this is good meat, huh? I just got it in here. It's fresh. <laughs> you just wait right there, sir. In a moment, you can try the best ground meat you've ever tasted. Whoa, ground? <laughs> wait a minute, listen. I had something else in mind. Zombies are no good. I can't serve my customers spoiled meat like that. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> Trust me, I'm a butcher. I've got the best meat in town. <laughs>
You're finished. It's over. What about Isabella? <coughs> She's on our side now. She's checking out your computer right now. My purpose in life has been to get revenge for what you people did to Santa Cabeza, to my hometown. Why? Why was your meat so much more important to you than human life? Why? Why did my people have to die to feed your fat bellies? That doesn't excuse what you've done! But I promise, the Santa Cabeza story will be told. But I need the password. Hey. Hey! Hey! Stay with me! Give me the computer's password! <laughs> hey, aren't zombies great? I mean, all they do is eat and eat and eat, growing in number, just like you could. Red, white, and blue Americans. <coughs> it's not over. Not yet. Speak! Speak, damn it! What do you mean it's not over? He's dead. Oh. All he worried about was you in the end. He died without telling me a damn thing. <sighs> you know, I thought he was terrorist scum. But... In the end, all he really cared about was his sister. Here, he wanted you to have this.
他怎么骂？你有解决到吗？怎么了？我的儿子，我们父母说过很多。那个地方我们住，圣塔克贝萨，我是恩赐给自然。When I say my brother didn't want all this, he only wanted to live in peace in Santa Cabeza. Frank, the emergency line's been freed up. I'll give headquarters a call. Hang on. DHS headquarters. This is Agent Jessica McCarney. We have an emergency situation. Frank, it's over. HQ's decided to ignore us. I contacted headquarters, but the government has decided to deny all knowledge of what happened here. Special forces will arrive for cleanup at midnight. They'll take everyone out. Zombies, people, everyone. Jessica McCartney? Talk about your close calls. You contacted us just in time. Your boss thought we should have a talk with you before the operation begins. We'll be taking you into custody. If you sign an agreement to keep your mouth shut about all this, you'll be free to go.
perfect. The military. They'll come, won't they? He's just like Santa Cabeza. The government wants to cover this up, too. I'll be damned. He's still alive. That son of a bitch made it. <gasps> that must mean he got his scoop. I can't wait to get my share of the take. <laughs> Woo! Yeah!
You're awake. Oh, thank God. It wasn't easy getting you back here by myself, you know. You collapsed on the roof. I collapsed? No, I... Wait. Does that mean... You... You must have gotten yourself infected somehow. <laughs> the time between infection and zombification differs greatly from person to person. You're lucky, Frank. You seem to have a very high level of resistance. So, uh... <laughs> so what you're saying is that I get to spend longer waiting for the inevitable, is that it? <laughs> you know, I'm not sure lucky is the word I'd use. Helicopter crashed. No one's coming to help us now. It's over for us. No matter what we do. there was some way to impede the infection. If we could extract and administer a large dose of hormones from the corpus alatum of an adult queen, it would potentially hinder the growth of the larva in your blood, retarding the zombification process. Now hang on a sec. I don't understand a word you just said. What are we supposed to do? I'll need certain supplies to get this to work. And queens. As many as you can get your hands on. All right. Sounds like a plan. Should be sitting around here waiting to die. drug that stops the parasite growth. Have you ever made it before, or is it just a theory? When I was working in the medical lab, my brother asked me to research a method of suppressing the parasite. Of course, back then, we didn't extract the hormones directly. We synthesized them in the lab. <laughs> so, he was looking to protect himself from his own terrorist scheme. He wanted a way out, is that it? I don't know. I know he didn't bring the drug with him here. I have no idea what he intended to use it for. You think I'm just making excuses, but Carlito kept things from me. <laughs> Even if this, uh... Even if you do manage to make this drug, it won't completely cure me, will it? I'm afraid not. When the effect wears off, the parasite will develop 
as it normally would, continuing the zombification process. Fat lot of good that does me. Well, it's the only hope I've got now. This is all I need as far as supplies are concerned. Now all we need are some queens. Yeah, uh... Listen. Just how long do you suppose your drug will prevent me from turning into a walking corpse? During my research, I was never able to conduct proper clinical studies. To a certain extent, the period of effectiveness depends on each patient's physiology. It could be a year. Maybe only a week. There's no way to tell for sure. Fantastic. So, I'll be a walking zombie time bomb. A time bomb? What? Once the drug's development was complete, Carlito poured his energy into starting an NPO dedicated to helping war orphans. We had 50 doses of the drug prepared. Not long after that, the NPO managed to find homes for a large group of children. Want to guess just how many? He infected these kids and then gave them your drug? That he made 50 little ticking time bombs? I don't know. I just don't know. It is possible, though. Look at this. New York, D.C., L.A. These kids are spread all over the country. If your theory is right, the entire country could be crawling with zombies by now. I don't know what's worse. That we don't know for sure, that we can't warn anyone about this. Well, what we need to do right now is prepare the hormone and get you taken care of. Leads out of here. I doubt these zombies would just let us walk right through.
You're gonna inject me with that, huh? Okay, Doc. Let's get this over with. At least I won't have to worry about turning into one of them for a while. Okay. Next on the agenda. Figure out a way to get the hell out of here. While I was isolating the hormone, I managed to identify a pheromone that suppresses the attack instinct in adult parasites. In other words, the zombies don't like the way it smells. If you give me a little more time, I should be able to produce some of this pheromone. They think it smells bad? You think we could use something like that to keep them away from us? We could just walk right past them and get out of here. In theory, yes. Either way, it's certainly better than nothing. There was a cave. Outside, where the helicopter crashed. It was packed with zombies. I mean, shoulder to shoulder. But it may lead somewhere outside. If it works, your anti-zombie perfume, it could keep us safe in that cave. What do you say? You ready to get the hell out of here? There won't be enough of this pheromone to waste it on experiments. We'll only have enough to use it once. Whatever you say. Considering how many of them keep pouring out of here, it must be connected to something. Isabella, look. Any other way out of here is guarded by the military. If we're gonna get out of here and put a stop to Carlito's plan, we've got to go in there. It's the only way. It's not like we're unarmed. We got your smelly perfume, don't we? <sighs> I wouldn't be alive right now if your shot hadn't worked. The perfume's gonna work too. I know it. All right. Let's go. Yeah. steal ourselves that set of wheels.
These automated machines are no use at all on the battlefield. Switch to manual control. Men mopped up the mall. On a mission in which the number of targets is unclear, it's difficult to ensure absolute thoroughness. Huh. You have imagination. That's what drives you in your quest to run, your quest to hide. As prey, you and your kind are much more stubborn than the zombies. How much do you know about the zombies? I commanded the Santa Cabeza cleanup operation. If we had fulfilled our mission then, we wouldn't be needed here now to take care of this... incident. That's all it was to you, huh? A mission. What about those innocent people who had to pay for sins committed by our government our and its inhuman research? Our mistakes have not begun with this operation. <laughs> Humanity has proven itself to be quite adept at making mistakes. Ha! Hell! It's the only thing we truly excel at. Well then, I'd say this mission isn't quite over yet. Don't you agree? Ugh! <sighs> 